Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Joe Below Gaming. Welcome back to another tutorial video, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to basically. <coughs> on how to basically create the best Minecraft server ever. What this server is, it's called Paper MC, okay? So it's kind of like Craft Bucket and Spigot, but better. What it allows you to do is install Craft Bucket and Spigot plugins into the same server, which is amazing. This is what I use for my online server on um, the server hosting website. So, guys. Here's how you go ahead and create one. First things first, go in the first link in the description. If you don't have Java 16 SC development kit, you're going to have to download this, okay? So go on this page, scroll down, and then until you see right here, okay? Uh, Window uh, X64 installer. Now, this is for Windows and not Mac. I do apologize. Um, I will try to figure out a way to do it on Mac. It's just harder for me. Um, but let's go ahead and go ahead and get started, guys. So the first things first is you're going to have to go in the, uh, the second link in the description now. It's going to take you to the paper MC, okay? What you're going to do from here is there's two versions. You could do the waterfall, uh, but I recommend you do the two papers right here. 1.60.5 and 1.17.1, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and click on the latest build right here. You're going to click on this. It's going to go ahead and download it. Now, I've already downloaded it, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, the third link in the description you're going to click on, it's going to bring you to the Minecraft server website, okay? Now, all we need from this really is this section right here, okay? So don't worry about that yet. Uh, we're going to come back and grab this in just a sec. So once you've downloaded paper, I would recommend you drag it to your desktop just like this. Also, make sure you create a Minecraft server. What you're going to do, uh, folder, I do apologize. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag the paper 1.17.1 in the actual Minecraft server folder. You're going to open it, right? Now, what you're going to go ahead and do at this point is you're going to right click on the paper. You're going to rename it. And what you're going to rename it is just paper, okay? So just name it to paper. It's so easy when it's just paper, all right, guys? Now, next thing you have to do is right-click in the folder, go to New, Text Documents, open up the text document, all right, guys? Now, what we have to do is go back on the Minecraft server website right here, and we're going to copy this right here, all right, guys? And then what we're going to do is we're going to paste it into the actual uh, file right here. So what we're going to do first off is get rid of this Minecraft underscore server 1.17.1. You have to keep the dot jar. Don't get rid of the dot jar. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to write paper. Okay, paper dot jar. That's it. That is our server right here. Paper dot jar. What we're trying to do is run this server. Okay, run the paper dot jar file. Next thing, what I like to do is type pause under here. And then I'm going to change this to two gigabytes, which is 2048. Now, what I'm going to do is just highlight this control C. I'm going to highlight this and control V. Okay, so there we go. So now... Make sure that these are the same exact numbers, 2048, 2048. You have your paper dot jar, and you have your pause right here. Now, the pause is just in case if you do get an error, it will pause the command console, and it'll, get, it'll tell you what's wrong, okay? So now we have to go to File, Save As, All Files down here, and you're going to name this Run.Bat, okay? And you're going to click Save. Now, what we could go ahead and do is get rid of this text document. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is run the server. So to be able to run the server, you need to create this run.bat file. Don't double click on this. Always create the, the run.bat. So double click on the run.bat. It's going to open up your command console. Okay, guys. Now, the fun thing about paper, right, is that it allows you to install basically any plugin you want within Spigot and Craft Bucket, right? Now, if you had a Spigot server before, you could only install Spigot plugins. Or if you had a Craft Bucket server, you could only install um, craft bucket plugins but now with the paper it allows you to install both plugins into one server which is amazing so as you can see here it says fail to load ula we're going to click any uh thing on the keyboard to continue you're going to get this ula file right here you're going to open this up and then you're going to change this from false to true and then you're going to go to file save close this out and then rerun the server now you're going to see in a few seconds that this command console is going to start loading up everything as you can see the world is loading up the server properties the band the bucket everything spigot so as you can see that it has spigot and bucket at the same time which is absolutely amazing so the server is done right and that's pretty much it guys now i do have to recommend that in this video i do not teach you how to port forward the server if you want your friends to join the server you do need to port forward your ipv4 address I will leave two, I, I'll leave a video down in the link in the description for you guys, okay? Maybe two. Um, just for you guys to be able to port for the server so you can send it, your IP to your friends and they'll be able to join. Now, just to show you guys that this does work, 
um, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the server uh, launch up minecraft okay for 1.17.1 and we're gonna go ahead and join the server so I'll see you guys in the game really quickly guys I forgot to mention if you do want to install your plugins all you have to do is download the plugins go to your uh, plugins folder right here okay and you're gonna drag the plugins into this folder and that's it all right guys so let's go ahead and join in the server we're gonna go ahead and click add server and just to join our local here, just so we could join, we're going to go ahead and type in zero. And then there you go. You can actually go ahead and join the server. So as you guys can see, we are now in the server. The server is up and running and it's completely good to go, guys. You can go ahead and do whatever you want. There's really like this honestly is one of my favorite just because it allows you to install any plugin basically you want from Spigot and Craft Bucket, which is literally amazing, guys. It's, it's, it's amazing. Like now you can actually have an crazy server you can install both plugin and craft bucket which is really really cool so if you guys enjoyed the video obviously make sure to give it a like man i would really appreciate that guys i really do appreciate all you guys' support you guys are absolutely amazing and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day guys adios